Hi, this is Alvin with Kickstart Commerce and today's tutorial I will show you how to use Google Webmaster Tools Fetch as Google Feature. Um, over the past couple of uh, months I've had numerous customer calls uh, whereby the customer would either release a new article, blog post, or a new web page of some sort on their website and it would take sometimes weeks um, and even months for that page um, to be indexed by Google and so I want to show you a quick and easy way that can actually have your new web page article or blog post whatever um, indexed uh, sometimes within minutes and if not then at least at the maximum hours uh, before that new page is indexed so I'm using my own blog here and so I'll just copy and we'll copy this this title of my blog post now this post has already been indexed by Google but I just want to show you um, if you go to Google and you can essentially paste that title in click enter and you can see here that the uh, that post was indexed one day ago um, had this been a new post then uh, essentially it would not have shown up in any of the results here and so another way also to get the exact is to put quotes on the um, either side of the title and if for instance this title uh, was not found anywhere throughout the site then the results instead of reading Previously, it read 80 some odd thousand. Um, instead of reading 10 results, it would read zero results. And so um, that's just one way to check to see if, if your page has actually been indexed, is just to take the page title and do a quick search. Um, but needless to say, what we'll do is go back to the blog and I'll go to the exact page so that we can copy the URL and then uh, you'll want to be logged in to or set up a Google Webmaster Tools account once you get it set up then in the left hand column um, under crawl you will see that it says fetch as Google and so you can fetch as Google um, and it will appear here and give you an uh, a text box that you can actually paste the link in now what you'll want to be sure to do is remove the domain name your base domain name and the forward slash there to where there's nothing but the actual page name now if you have your page and let's say it's um, within a category or you know a different subfolder you'll want to include that subfolder like such there as I did by adding blog and then forward slash then whatever the page name but because my pages uh, my blog posts are um, at the base domain then I just only need um, the page name so you have two options for fetch as Google and it's called fetch and then fetch and render if you use fetch and render then what will happen is um, it'll go and fetch the the page pull it in and render it to you so that you can see whether or not you have the right page now the the, the one that we're going to use is just fetch here and you can see that I've already um, used this this path here um, and it completed and I did also URL and link pages um, submitted to index so for this example we'll go ahead and fetch again and then you can see that it has a pending status it did complete it was able to go and fetch the page now you have a submit button next to that page and you'll want to submit to index so we click that and then a pop-up appears and basically you're given two options uh, for Google to crawl that URL or crawl the URL in any link um, any of its direct links so any links that are listed on that page and so if you use crawl only this URL you can see that you have 500 monthly quota 
um, or a maximum that you can actually submit different pages. So you'll want to uh, be wise on what you submit and how many times you submit. Uh, you can already see that I only have uh, 499 submissions uh, remaining for this month. Now if you choose to use crawl this URL and its direct links then you can see that the uh, multiple URL option uh, you only have 10 monthly quota which is substantially different than just crawl this URL and you can see I've I've used seven submissions and I'll, or rather I've I only have seven submissions so I've used three but I only have seven submissions left for the remainder of this month um, you definitely want to use this wisely for most cases you can just crawl this URL click go and then you can now see that it has been completed URL submitted to index and then it gives you the date and time and then from experience I've seen um, I've been talking to customers on the phone sometimes on a 10 to 15 minute call uh, do fetches Google while on the call and once the call is ended I've seen pages uh, you know rank as fast as five minutes um, or rather index as fast as five minutes uh, and you know I've seen sometimes or at least a maximum sometimes it would take a few hours you know three or four hours before it would uh, you know show up as indexed uh, in Google's search engine uh, but that said that's that's how you can uh, get your pages indexed faster and not sitting and waiting um, twiddling your thumbs hoping you know over a course of days weeks or months that Google uh, visits your website and indexes your new newly found page um, and this also this feature gives you a, um, a a step ahead of your competition in terms of you know getting pages out there fast and indexed and um, you know hopefully starting ranking a step ahead of your competition uh, with that said you know the other thing too that you'll want to take note is if you use um, like an XML an automated an automatically um, or an automated generation XML generator uh, which typically comes with most content management systems uh, what happens is it'll create your XML RSS feed submit that to the search engines and then that will cause the search engines to uh, come out and crawl and index your site as well so if you're not using that then this fetch as Google tool is just as good as having that uh, with that that's about it in this tutorial uh, I hope it definitely helps you um, to rank your pages faster uh, and, or rather index your pages faster and I hope that it improves uh, your rank or rather um, get you closer to where you want to be and having your pages listed in a Google search engine so do feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com and uh, again like I said that's it for this tutorial and I look forward to the next one